Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be going over set. Where is it? Uh, seven five three two two or Hawk ATST. Uh, this is a 2022 set that actually just released. Okay, tried to put that back, but that's gonna that set's from its home. So. This set came with three minifigures, which included Chewbacca, an ATST pilot, and a Rebel Trooper. No Snow Troopers, but then again, we just got the Snow Trooper Battle Pack, which I was unfortunately unable to get. Um, you get a probe droid, which is really cool. Um, this is the first one, I believe, done in gray, so that's always unique and nice. And uh, here we have the Hoth ATST. And I will say this immediately, it's like 30 pieces, 30, right? Uh, no, it's about 46 pieces more than this one. But you can already tell that the legs are longer, and the head, the face is a little bit smaller. And that's just something interesting to note, that they even use different building technique for the forward gun, and uh, different technique for that and um, they actually use different pieces which is also really nice um, it's interesting they also get the feet completely different there's not a single sticker on this set i love it for that um as far as play your features go you um, can spin this and uh, that's a really nice spin i like that there were some similarities mainly in the feet that you can notice but these feet are long and lanky and there's a lot of different as you can see there's no ropes protruding there is some greebling techniques used up under here um, and there is a little bit of greebling in here but it is well kept and uh, up with you got the gun right here and that's it's a really nice design I like it um, it does have spring-loaded shooters, and yeah, press this, and they just, oh, I don't think I got that on camera. Oh, my friend. Nope. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to have to find those later, because they disappeared in my Lego collection. So, you have the um, spring-loaded shooters, and you actually, um, with the minifigures, we had Chewbacca, who has the uh, stud shooter. I don't feel like launching this everywhere. So it fires like a regular stud shooter. But if this is any indication, those won't be around too long. Um, this is the Hoth ATST pilot. Um, nice prints. Um, for me, really, he's just a discount General Veers. You can take off his weapons. Um, I'm going to put him in a seated position. And you can, in fact, open this, and that's the top hatch. And you can open it even more, and I like the way they did this. This, this is a lot sturdier than that one over there. So you can sit them in a seated position, and just put them in there, and then close it. And he's in there. Um, and he's in there. It's pretty nice, really. It's a really tight fit. You can put the weapon in here. I'll close it fine. Um, there is a little bit of posability at the leg, but not much. And uh, it can't hold that pose, so there's no point. Um... I gotta point out, because I just got this chrome lightsaber. It's a really nice set, and I, I like it. Um, 500 pieces, and I believe it retailed for about $60, which was $10 expensive than what I thought. Um, just the building techniques for this thing were just not what I expected. And um, I will say I don't like how the box just opens from the bottom. I don't like that. Um, the instructions were also interesting with Chewbacca 
I guess because he was the figure of interest being like the minifigure for the waypoint for how far along you are. And then you got the little, oh, you finished it. And then you got this unique little build with a little bit of a uh, snow, snowy base plate esque wing piece. And he comes with a little pistol, some legs, a little translucent piece to mimic the um, floating appearance. And he's also got a fair bit of greebling on him. And he used some pretty cool techniques that I weren't expecting to get out of a small probe droid. And this is actually my second HTSC, which is crazy. So, he, he spins all the way around. You get some nice printed pieces. There, there Again, there's no stickers, which I really appreciate. Because um, I don't like stickers. You got some greebling here. And yeah, it's not a bad thing looking all around. Um... These do move, but to get to capture the appearance, I don't see how they could have done it any differently. Um, a lot of people are thinking that this is ugly. Accurate, but ugly. I don't think it's ugly. Um, I think it looks like um, it has no eyes, unlike that one. That's Or like its eyes are closed. But I don't think it's ugly. I think it actually looks pretty good. I like it. Um... I like it. It's really nice, really cool, very functional. You got the little two handles right here. Get some girl, um, she slope grill pieces. I keep. Sorry, <laughs> can't get, didn't get my uh, camera like I was expecting to, but it is coming. Um, inside is just a hodgepodge mess, but that's all right. Um, there's no exclusive uh, prints besides the Chewbacca. Which actually has snow speckling on them. And uh, that's really cool. Um, so, uh, I got the Chewbacca from Empire Strikes Back. The Captain Solo from, um, or Han Solo from New Hope. Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan from the New Hope. R2-D2 and C-3PO from A New Hope. So, if I just get a Leia, um, that'll, I'll have the whole cast. Um. From a new hope, it just you know won't won't be accurate from the set of movies because of Chewbacca, and I can't find any sets with him from a new hope. Um, so I can't can't wait for more of the 2020 line. These are great sets, and um, it is really this set was really well done. I don't fear that it's gonna fall over like this one. I do. This one just not the best he does have longer legs which is weird looking it does look weird the legs this looks small way too small this looks way too small way too big but i like it i think it looks right as it should um and the longer leg and skinnier legs make it easier to display and i dropped something what did i drop oh i dropped that oh my target bias the evidence. I finished the mock. I don't know what you saw, so I'm at the I have to edit some stuff out depending on what you saw. The minifigure should be lined up. Chrome lightsaber. Chrome lightsaber. I always love chrome. So shiny. Chrome. Okay, enough of that. But yeah, if you want to pick this up, I recommend waiting a little bit till it's on sale because this is beast of a value. For sixty dollars, from fifty to sixty dollars, depending on where you buy, for eight hundred five hundred sixty eighty six pieces. And it's not bad. It's not a bad set. I'll probably buy another one. Um, because I need to. Uh, I want to get the ATS. I mean the AT-80. Put that back where I got it from. Oh, the leg's being skinny. And it fits right under there. So it's really nice for displayability. And then it's always easy to display um, droids. So that's my review of the Hoth ATST.
great set. I do recommend buying it if you don't already own it. I know a lot of people rush to their nearest Target or Lego stores to pick this thing up. And uh, it's well worth it. Nothing's loose. Nothing's coming apart. Great set. So I'm going to see you all in the next video.